A Los Angeles Police Department narcotics officer was killed today, serving a high-risk warrant in Echo Park. Give me the bitch. LAPD spokesperson said the officer is survived by his wife and infant child. Shit gets deeper. You get the picture. Yo, 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 welcome back to the No Cut Sports Podcast with your host, Niall Frazier. And y'all already know, baby, why we here today, a dominant performance by the Philadelphia Eagles. Once again, well, I want to say once again, man, they, 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 they've been coming along, but I guess you could say once again, because they did, they did trash the Giants last week, but it's the Giants, you know, people going to say that. But to me this week, getting this dub this week against the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, this is a clear sign that we are moving in the right direction, okay? I want you to put the word out there that we back up. Understand me? We back up. Yes, there's some things that we still need to work on for sure because we didn't score in the first quarter once again. Um, I did, I did, did it? They got a, yeah, they got a field goal in the uh, second half. So, um, field goal in the second, um, not second half, second quarter, and they also scored in the second quarter going into halftime 10 10. Um, now, I ain't going to lie to you, man. We went in 10-10. I wasn't as upset as I was before they scored that touchdown for the simple fact that, like I said, couldn't get that couldn't get that offense clucking in the first quarter once again. So um, I think we need to get back, excuse me, to the drawing board with um, how we're trying to attack these uh, scripted plays because I, I just don't understand what the talent that we have on this team, why we struggle so much to try and get into the end zone in the first quarter. But then, like I said, second half, it looks like it looks like a totally different offense. So, um, like I said, I ain't here to bash the guys, man. Um, happy, excited. Um, I did say two days ago um, on Joey Shakes and his comments. Shout out to my boy Joey Shakes. But I said in his comments two days ago, and, uh, and you know people liked it and things like that. But I said two days ago, I had a feeling that the Eagles would be able to dominate the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. Now, if you don't know, you've been living under a rock, whatever the case may be. Cincinnati Bengals have played the same two teams that we played in the last two weeks within the uh, Cleveland Browns and um, New York Giants. So, you know, with the Cincinnati Bengals, and I watched I watched the game against the Giants, and I think I watched, did I watch the game against the Browns too? I know I watched the game against the Giants, and I seen that that was just a shootout going back and forth, and I'm like, bro, you, y'all having a shootout with the Giants, and in all due respect, you know, Cincinnati's defense isn't that good. Um, but it was just like, you know, what we did to the Giants uh, last week, I, I had a lot of faith rolling into this game because I seen that the defense was coming along uh, the, since the bye week. Uh, liking what I'm seeing, uh, Nolan Smith, another sack. I don't know if they gave him a half sack or a full sack, uh, but a sack. Um, he's been coming along. I'm glad, you know, we ain't give up on my boy because, you know, because the standard's high here in Philadelphia. Like I said, I, I snapped on Hurts earlier in the season. I snapped on the team after that Tampa Bay game, man, because it's just, like I said, it wasn't just Philadelphia. It's not Philadelphia football in my eyes. So after the bye, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's all love, no disrespect. Um, but them boys stepped up, the men stepped up, and they did what they had to do these last couple of weeks. But today was a proven point that this team is headed in the right direction, man. We can't give up on these guys. Um, like I said, Jalen Hurts, let's read off these stats, man. 16 for 20, right? 236 yards, one pass and touchdown, three total touchdowns. Uh, excuse me, three rushing touchdowns. Uh, Barkley with 22 carries for 108 yards, okay? My boy Smith, what? I, bro, ugh. Heisman winner. Heisman winning Smitty, bro. Heisman. Let's let 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 that sink in. Heisman winning Smitty, okay? That was a dart that Jalen Hurst threw in the end zone for a touchdown. A dart. So 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 it seems like it's coming along, but my man Smith had six receptions for 85 yards, one touchdown. All right. You can't ask for more. Now, AJ, he he played well, don't get me wrong. You know, he didn't score a touchdown, but week to week, we don't know what you're going to get from this team. You feel what I'm saying? Because I know today, like like even with uh, Barkley having 108 yards, I, and I don't know if y'all heard me say this before, I always say how effective is it? Now, in the second half, it was effective, but that first half, I mean, it was effective too in the first half, but it didn't lead to us scoring. You feel what I'm saying? So, um I don't know, man. I, they just got to figure something out. I know I keep dwelling on this first quarter, this yeah, this first quarter thing, but it's like if this team can score in the first quarter or be better in the first half of the uh, game and play like they did today in the second half, 
who is stopping his team, bro? Who is stopping his team? Defense stepped up. Shout out to Quignon. Almost had another interception. God, I would get get my get my ball in the jug machine, man. This one wasn't his fault though. But like, get my ball in the jug machine because he's he's always he he's always in the area of almost having a pick every week. And it's like, bro, I gotta get my. He gotta come down with at least one. Um, but we did come down with a a a, a pick. Um. Shout out to Darius Slay. He ended up going out the game. I forget what the injury was. I do apologize. But um, he went out with an injury, and uh, he did not return. So they ended up putting Isaiah Rodgers in the game, right? Now, I don't know if I said it in my last podcast, but I did like that combination that they ranked. I think Darius Slay went out last. Yeah, he went out last week, too, and he put Isaiah Rodgers in. So I like that young combination with Isaiah Rodgers, Cooper DeGene, and Quignon out there, um, some dogs. And, then, you know, whoever you want to put back there, Reed and, um, and uh, CJ. But – uh. Mitchell man had a deflection and then CJ, I mean, yeah, CJ was right there. <sighs> Interception. I'm like, bro, this is what we need. And like, it, it just, everything was just coming together. So, so far, so good, man. Out of the bye week, um, out of week five, I man, that's three straight wins for the Philadelphia Eagles, man. Um, Joe Burrow, uh, he had a good game, but his team, you know, you know, he didn't have Higgins today. So that was a plus for us. Um, I can't lie. Like, 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 it, it, I feel as though if Higgins was playing, I still think the defense would have did well. But you know, it just it's a more of an added threat to to to, to their benefit. So um, it was just I don't I, I was just happy to see it, man, because it just reminded me of. And I don't want to keep dwelling on the twenty twenty two season, but it just feels like you ain't seen offense like this since the twenty twenty two season. I feel like it's been so long since we've seen something that it's like you know when you do see stuff, you get so excited. So it seems to be like everything is coming together, man. Um, Defense, like I said, playing very well. Uh, Huff, uh, sack. If I'm not, did they give Huff? A, I think they got. I think Huff got a sack. If I'm not mistaken, but um, just the defense collectively playing well. Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter, of course, <laughs> you already know. Um, yeah, man, it's 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 just good to see. But I already had said, man, like yo, I was expecting a dub. I was watching LB's podcast, and um, I seen Elliot Shore Parks put out a tweet saying that this would be an acceptable loss for the Philadelphia Eagles. This is why you got to be careful where you get your information from because this would not have been an acceptable loss. How this team is constructed, how he went out this season, loaded this team up because they're trying to make a run back to the Super Bowl. If you're telling me as a reporter for the Philadelphia Eagles or for or reporting on the Philadelphia Eagles that it's okay to be mediocre, you're, you you don't need to be reporting on the Eagles, bro. All due respect, because that to me that's crazy. You always you the mindset should always be right. And I don't care what you're doing in life. I'm a dominate and I'm a win. And I ain't sitting here talking about putting nobody out. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy like that. But dominate and win. Simple and plain. You ain't got to go out there and be sitting there saying, oh, this would be okay, you know, law. No, bro. It's not an okay loss. The narrative that's always been, that, that's being written about Jalen Hurts at this moment in time is that he's not elite. And maybe he's not in some people's eyes. I'm starting to lean toward Jalen is elite. Now, I know I said what I said, but Jalen is elite because he has something that a lot of players don't have, and it's that clutch gene, bro. My man went in there with two different Air Jordans on, Jordan 11s and Jordan 4 cleats. <laughs> I thought this man was about to throw another touchdown to Smitty or AJ. I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like, But it's, it's something that Jalen Hurts possesses, the 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 willingness to be coached and, and, and to learn and to get better. Um, I seen him th- had a couple passes over the middle as well today, which, you know, he's working at him. But I do think, and I know people were saying, get rid of Jalen Hurts, you know, I was whatever. But my thing is this. There is no other quarterback in my eyes besides like a Patrick Mahomes that possesses some of the skill sets that that clutch vibe that 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 clutch skill set that Jalen Hurts has. Man, it's like when it when it, when the going gets tough, he knows exactly what to do. You feel what I'm saying? So that narrative that's being written about him not being elite, you have to. He beat Joe Burrow, bro. He beat he beat Patrick Mahomes. He beat a uh, uh, Josh Allen. He 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 he's beating these teams. Now we got to go see Lamar. Was that December twentieth? I'm supposed to be trying to go to that game with my family. So, if y'all are there, you know, let, it, let let me know. You know what I'm saying? I might might be able to meet some of y'all. But my thing is this: Jalen Hurts is still proving people wrong, bro. He's still doing what he's doing. Yeah, it might not look sexy how y'all want to look sexy, whatever y'all want to call it. You know, he's not throwing touchdowns, whatever the case may be, but he's winning, 
And that's exactly what I want. I want wins, bro. I don't care how you get the dub. I, don't, I didn't care if they went out here and ran the ball with Saquon Barkley for another two, for almost 200 yards again. I didn't care how they got the dub. I just want them to win. All these all these players that we have, and even players that might not meet the talent level of an AJ or a Smitty or whatever the case may be, they still stepped up and they still get the job done, bro. Collectively, everybody's working well together now. Staying healthy. I don't see how this in 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 the trajectory that we're going in. I just don't see how we can't go back. And I'm gonna just keep it light. At least let's make the playoffs first. But I don't see how between the playoffs and the NFC Championship, we don't at least get to the NFC Championship. And we probably playing somebody like the line or somebody like that. And barring what goes on, like I said, health wise, I'm still leaning with the Eagles, bro. Yes, that's a good team over there, but sometimes you need that momentum rolling into that playoff, uh, to the playoff picture and. Rolling into hopefully the Super Bowl, so um, don't want to get too far ahead, man. But if the Eagles can keep this up, if they can, especially the defense. Shout out to Vic Fangio. Shout out to Vic Fangio, bro, because you're seeing week to week he's adjusting and adapting. He's not getting stuck in his old ways like I thought he was. So I have to, you know, got. I'm a man. Got I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? So he's doing what he need to do. He's using, he, learning his guys, using them how he needs to use them. But I'm just so excited, bro. I, 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 I'm I trying to hold it back, but I'm just so excited. So I don't want to hold y'all too much longer. I want to get out here and watch some more of the games because I like to watch. Usually I don't like to make a video until after all the games come on because I like to see how, you know, each team plays against, you know, the team that they're playing against because that's how I build up, you know, where we going in the, in the playoffs or, you know, how we going to match up against another team, whatever the case may be. So. With that being said, man, shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles on the dominant win against the Cincinnati Bengals. This is the first dub. Yes, and I said it. I, I said it, bro. I'm going to calm myself before I get excited. I said it. I was like, bro, we won't get the dub in a dominant win. If they didn't get the dub in a dominant win, I'd have been very, very concerned, to be honest with you. But the way that they did it, man, today is what we need to see. Different facets. Because, like I said, last week it was a run game. This week it was the pass game. Now, people want to talk about Hurts ain't this, Hurts ain't that, 236 yards, no turnovers, no interceptions. You feel me? My man holding it down back to your QB1, $250 million quarterback. You better know that. So with that being said, man, this is now from the No Cut Sports Podcast. I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching. And if you could for me, please like, comment, and subscribe. To always catch this vibe, man, y'all already know. And one more thing before we go. Woo! Go Birds, baby. I'm a holler at y'all, man. Be safe.